Hello and welcome you all to the fifth lecture of uh, Git series and I am Vikas here and in today's video series I will be demonstrating about Git branch and merge. So what are the things we will see going forward that is like how we can list uh, uh, Git branches like how we can see how many number of branches do we have, how we can create a new branch along with that we will see how we can switch from one branch to another branch and we will see like how we can delete the branch and in the last we will have a separate lab session for that where we will see some code we will have in suppose a dev branch uh, we will merge the uh, code uh, with uh, some other branch so like like a developer has written some code in the dev branch and after some a time uh, we have we will create a new branch that is testing branch and in testing branch also we will write some part of code and in the last we will try to merge the code of testing branch to the uh, this development branch so what what is git branch so actually it is a, a version of repo that diverges from the main working project so in simple terms we you can say i uh, think of a scenario like uh, you are working on a big uh, project and uh, you you have one main branch right where you are keeping all the codes of it so uh, someday someone came to us some developer and he he thinks like he can improve some feature of that in the same code so how you will uh, uh, share the branch with him correct so you cannot give him the main branch right uh, that is containing all the latest code so what you will do you will just create a branch so once you will create a separate branch that will be divergent of your main branch master branch so the same code containing in the master branch that will get uh, that will get copied to the other branch right so now the developer has all the code right but that is that is uh, that is not disturbing the code of your master branch so you are also writing the code in your master branch and developer is also having some developer branch in which he is writing the code correct after some time you you will do what you will try to merge the code you will see okay that feature is looking good he was right so what do you want now you just want to merge the code the functionality he has written in the branch which we have gave to him so that we will merge here correct so let's go to the lab session i hope you understood the scenario so so these are the things we will see going forward so first is check current branch so let's just go to the ec2 instance okay so let me just go to the project which we have so that is sample here only we have initialized the git right so if you don't know how to do that please check out my previous video so that you will have i will recommend you to go back and see that so that it will be more clear to you so so here what was our first task we have to uh, check what is our current branch in which we are writing the code so what you will do you have to just do git so git branch will show you like currently you are in master branch right and according to our story we are going with this only so suppose i am i am writing the code in the master branch right and uh, some developer will come to me okay and he will say i can develop more better functionality than this so can you please uh, provide me a branch of that so without disturbing this master branch i will do what i will just okay so branch is having this code right right now you can see uh, let me show you these are the files uh, currently a git branch having correct these these file five files so let me delete some files from here unnecessary files So this is the file uh, right now your master branch is containing that is my file so so and i am currently in master branch right so oh, what is the content of this file you can check also that is hello git i am second part of the code correct 
so this is done now second developer to come and asking for the uh, uh, asking for uh, adding a new functionality correct so what you will do you will just create a separate branch for that so what is the code of that get uh, branch and give him like uh, development correct once you will hit enter you will have a new branch so how you will list again so you just do git branch and here you will see this one this one is what which we have created now and this one is what uh, we were working upon earlier right so if this is done so what i have told you when till the time you will create a new branch all the code from the master will be get copied to the development branch right so for that what we have to do we have created branch now we have to switch so that we can see the content right so how you will do that get get switch and here you have to provide sorry get checkout so for switch you have to check out so git checkout and which branch do you want to check out so this is the branch so you can see here it, it is showing like switched to branch development correct so once you will do ls you can see it is having my file and once you will try to copy the content uh, see the content of that it is showing uh, i am part of code so let's just edit this file right and uh, okay so this is the file name we have and i'm going to add some content right the developer asked for adding a new functionality so this is login functionality he developed in better way than the master branch one correct he wrote his code okay he done what he just he he staged that file he committed hyphen m login he added and he done this right so now the content of this is having this correct login functionality you have added to the code of this which branch let's see again get branch sorry so git branch right so this development branch in in which you have added this part of this line right he has added his code as a login functionality something and he just committed so now when you will go back git checkout again you have to switch right so what is the command git checkout and what is the branch name we have master right so you have switched to the master branch so list the files and if you will see the content of that so you can see this this third line which the other branch developer has added has not been shown to this right so means the master one uh, master uh, the the so the master branch developer was quite impressed with him the developer one and he want to uh, uh, merge all the code of him whatever he has written to his uh, master branch now correct so what he will do make sure that uh, you are in master branch if you want to uh, merge the code of development okay so what i have said you if if you want to merge a code of uh, development to the master then you must have to uh, check out to this master first there then only you can merge all the code from git okay and if you want to uh, merge the code from our uh, development uh, merge the code from master to development then you have to be in development right so let's see so i am in where so i am right now in master branch right so he, he 
by being here only i can pull all the code merge all the code from development so what i will do i will do git merge and you have to provide the name of uh, the branch development branch right so once you will do this so you can see two files changed and six new insertion came right so still you are in this branch only master branch only now if you will try to see the content of your uh, this my file so you can see login functionality has been appended on this correct so okay so what once this functionality has been uh, taken care right here in the master branch has been merged in the master branch then what do you want you just want to delete the branch right development now it's not required correct once the functionality has been taken over so what you will do you will now delete okay so for that what you will do git branch hyphen d and here you have to provide the name of the branch which you want to delete so git branch hyphen d so delete deleted branch development correct so now let's see git branch if you will see you just have uh, this master branch right so once you are merging from one branch to another all the uh, logs all the means commits will be also merged right all the commit will be also so so that you can see if uh, git log so it is showing right and along with that if you will do git log So these are the things we have in master correct so once you have done with the merging and all you are ready with your complete code which is present in your master branch now what you have to do you have to push these changes to the main repository so that it will be uh, visible to other developers correct so let's just go ahead and let's just push this code to the git repository so git push origin along with that you have to provide the master branch okay so once you will enter your credential it will push your code latest code to the github repository okay so thanks for watching in the next video we will see uh, git stashing git reset and we will see git revert as well so let's see you in the next session thanks for watching